So what I've done here on this video is we've loaded the program into the CNC controller. You can see the program listed here. Our program was number letter O, number 54321. What I'd like to do in this video is go through the graphics mode on this program so you can see what that looks like. In order to run the graphics, we must be in memory, so I will push the memory button to make sure we're there. To go to the graph screen, we must push this button twice. This is the setting graph button. If we hit it only once, we'll go to the settings for the machine. If we hit it twice, we go to the graphics screen. So I'm going to press it twice. Now we're on the graphics screen. You'll see the program at the bottom, but you don't see the full program. This will scroll down as we run the program. I'm going to run it in full automatic mode the first time and let you see what it looks like in full mode. It runs rather fast. Don't try to keep up with the program. You can't do it. But watch the movement on the screen as it progresses. It will actually draw our part that we programmed. So here goes. Now we're going to run this in single block. Single block is this button here, and we're going to press it one time. Single block comes up on the screen. What's going to happen here is when I hit cycle start, whatever line is highlighted, that line will be activated and the graphics will move for that line, whatever it is doing. So when I hit cycle start, it's going to activate that program and move to line number one. So now we're on line one. <clears throat> what we're doing on line one is we're indexing or going to tool number three. We're changing to tool number three. MO6 is change tools. T is the tool number we want to go. We're using tool number three. So I hit cycle start and it does that. You don't actually see anything happening in the graphics screen because this is, in real life you'll see this happen on the machine. So here we're at the G54 mode. This is our coordinate positioning on the table. We'll get into that more and more, especially when you come in for your lab. G00, we're going to wrap it to an X minus 0.1. Remember, that is to the left of the X0 line. And we're going to go to the Y0 screen, uh, Y0 line, and we're going to turn on the coolant pump. M08 turns the coolant pump. This does that. Again, you didn't see anything happening because it's pretty much already there. Line three, we're turning the spindle on forward at 1,000 RPMs. Line four, we're activating our Z cutter compensation. You won't see anything happening here, and we'll get into cutter compensation later in this, later in this particular lesson. It's going to move to Z.1, 100 thousandths above the part. Now, at this point, we're going to move to a Z of 50 thousandths. In our program, we put minus 200 thousandths, but for demo purposes and for the video, I'm not going to cut into the part right now. So I've already changed that. We're going to see the machine run on the next video. But here on the screen, you can't see the Z movements anyway. It's an in and out movement. You can't see it happening on the screen. So we do that with an F 50 inches per minute. Now you're going to start seeing something happening on the screen. We're setting up here, you can't see the lines, but we are 100 thousandths left of X0. So that's a minus 100 thousandths. On this line, G01 is a straight line movement. We're going to move to the right of X5.0. We're going to stay on the Y0 line, and we're going to cut at 12 inches per minute. So watch the screen, watch the line move over. So now we are at X5.0, Y0. On the next line, line 7, we're going to, again, a straight line movement, but this time we're going to come straight down. We're going to stay on X5 and move down to Y minus 0.4 and keep at the same feed rate of F12. Watch the screen. It will go down. So there we are at the point of line 7, X 5 inches, 5 inches to the right, 4 inches down. On this line, we're going to move over to X0, stay in the Y4 minus 4 inches. So here, we're going to move up to Y.1. We're going to come up 100 thousandths above the Y0 line, and we're on the same X0 that we previously put in. 
So here at G00, rapid movement or rapid travelers, we're going to move to Z up in three inches. You won't physically see that on the graph. You will on the machine when we run that. And MO9 cuts the coolant pump off. Now MO5 stops the spindle, and we're just moving to X and Y0. M30 ends the program and resets it back to the beginning. You'll see the cursor go back to the beginning. And we're ready to run another part. So that's how the graphics run on this machine. Uh, it's a very useful tool. Uh, I'm going to run it one more time in full automatic mode and let you see it go. The graphics are very handy in pointing out mistakes. If there's an error in there, you can see it on this and correct it on the graphics before you physically run the machine. A wonderful tool to make sure you got everything correct before you actually run the part. Thank you.